This is what's going on right at the present moment. I've got the camera. And Jolene's going to do the welding because she does the welding on the 40. That's what she has been doing. And if she talks, you can't hear her because she hasn't got a mic on. But anyways, um, she's going to be welding that bottom quarter on there. And this is how we're going to do it. We've already talked about it. We're going to spot it, you know, every four or five, whatever, six, whatever inches you want to do, whatever you think is good. And then we're going to move on and we're going to run up to the front running board. And then we're going to tack that every little bit. You know, it doesn't have to be four or five inches because there's not four or five inches there in between. There's just a few tight spots and then the spots will grab and, and leave as less heat as possible. We're not going to use the air at the present moment. We're going to show you another way we're going to do it. Then we're going to run up into the edge of the hood and finish down to the center of the hood. It's not welded there yet. I want to mud that, so she has to finish that. So this is what's going to happen. This is how we would weld up, or I would want it welded up, if we're in the shop. Go for it, Jolene. Let's, let's see what we got going on here. She's just going to find a spot on the car and put a spot on that round rod down there. We already welded it once down there. Just one second. Do we got the gas on, sweetheart? Yes. Cool. Gas is on. Ground's on. We're rocking. Go for it. So right now, we're just welding that round bar on the top power to the quarter panel. And we do not want to cause a lot of heat. We want to space it out and leave less heat as possible. We do not want to warp that if we have the chance not to. And that's the name of the game when it comes to welding this stuff up. I really like the sound of the weld right now. There's a certain length and a, and a certain sound you should hear when something's going good. And that went very well. Then she's just going to walk up here to the front of the running board. She's going to grab a couple tight spots on it and weld it to the fender because that's what has to be done. Um, there's not a whole lot of pickings going on there. She just wants to hit the tight spots and then, and then get out of there. That's what she's doing right now. She can find another tight spot, see what happens. There's a gap in that fender there, and we're going to tack it in a couple places. Then we're going to show you what we can do and what we can't do to fix that. Now just leave it like that, baby. Walk up to the edge of the hood there. We'll go up here, and she'll get a couple spots on the edge of the hood. She can see what's going on. I won't watch her. But she's going to grab a couple spots there. And by the time she... Well, that was a great shot. And by the time, <laughs> the time she comes back... I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. Um, time she comes back to the quarter panel, there would be no heat there whatsoever. So we just go a couple shots in between that. And we carry on from there. And that way there, you're not, you're, you're not, you're not stop welding. You just, it just continuously keep welding and, and feel like you're getting something done. That's what happens there. We're going to come up to the front fender here. I see we got some gap going on. She got attacked in a couple places there. So I would most generally tell her to go feel right by the places that she's already done and, and add another one on to it. Where she's got a gap, we can come in on the back side of the fender and we can tap the back side of the fender and try to bring it out to the gap. I'll show you the gap here right now. There's a gap there and it's hard to do, you know, sometimes with a welder to fill that in. So on the back side, we could hit it with a hammer and bring it out a little bit and weld it. And, or generally, what I would do sometimes, I'd just grab a coat hanger and lay it in there. Jolene's not a, a coat hanger woman yet. She has, I think, done it a couple times. But as I would tell her to do it, is just to add on what she already has because it's probably not hot whatsoever. Um, that's how we would do that. And that's what I would ask her to do. And then you can start on your weld and carry it over to where you have no product. And uh, if you do that, or try to do that, you will have success. And as she's doing that on the Bugatti, I have laid some extra strength body fill on the weld on the inside of the fender. Now I'm going to go underneath the hood there and try to straighten that out before I go any further. I do not want to uh, start spreading mud on that top fender. If I'm going to pry on it with a porta power, I want to do that first. Um, I'm going to put some grates in the holes on the side of the car underneath the hood there. When we do that, we'll show you that. And then uh, that's what we'll do. But we're not there yet, so I'm going to do some mudding. I'm going to go back to Jolene. She's still doing the same thing. I'm going to get up close here for a second, Jolene, just a second. See how, the, see how she's got them spotted there? And then she'll go in between each one of those and just continue on until it's done. And then we do the exact same thing up the front fender. she got it looking good, eh? Huh? There's no, there's no, there's no need, there's no need of 
of uh, running beads on cars because it's not, it's not how you build a car. Um, if you're patching something and you're throwing it in quick, yes, fine, I understand. But on the car that, on the, on the Bugatti, you can tell where the heat on the top that I have to put that port of power in there. The heat has made that fall in a little bit, so I have to fix it. And then this is Jolene's, um, well, she's welded a few times now, but, you know, simple instructions and simple, you know, just follow the simple instructions and you can build yourself a car, you know. I know you can. It's just, just a matter of simple instructions, you know. And as long as she follows them, you're, you're generally good, you know. She's not going to warp up any piece of this car because she's not throwing enough heat at it. So when someone says, you know, we did the best job we could do with this, what we had. And that's generally all we can do. Um, we could throw some little pieces in the corner here and show you how you fix that. But that would be another, another time. And that's what's going on. She's going in between each one. I think Jolene enjoys welding. She's up here doing it. Um, it's, it's kind of fun, actually. It's kind of fun. You can take pride in it, you know. But it's, it's, it's like Jolene said this morning, you know. It's like the animal kingdom. The monkey can climb the tree, but you can't expect the, the elephant to climb the tree, you know. Not everybody's the same, in other words. Uh, certain people learn at different times. And, uh, and I can say as a boy... I, I probably was the elephant climbing the tree. <laughs> right? Now her just zapping that, that's throwing no heat at that hood. Um, that's throwing no heat at that whatsoever. So we're just going to come back down there and do that again. Um, you can just go in between those ones if you want and do it again and almost get the hood done and then, and then we can throw some fours at it. You're going to go through this one more time. And I'm just going to keep the camera there just to show you how it's done, or how we do it. If I sound loud in the mic, I got my, my, my mouth full of gum. I told her to put the mic down a little bit. Jeez, I'm breathing so hard, I feel like I was going to fall down or something. <laughs> anyway, she's cruising right along here. And as you can see, as we weld like this, you can keep yourself quite busy if you play it right, uh, you know, instead of staying in one spot and putting all the heat there, she's jumping around and uh, spreading the heat everywhere. She got the hood done? Uh, well, that's what I want. You got the hood done, have you? Both right on. No, all right, she got a little bit more. So good thing I checked, eh? But that's what we need done. Just going to one spot at a time. And then we go on from there. The main, the main thing of welding is to make sure that you have your panel in place. That's, that's the main thing, that you have your, your, what you're welding, you ha it's in place. Once you start welding it in, then it feels, it's quite hard to cut it back out. You know, as we get going here, I'll show you really close. <clears throat> She's got it probably an inch away. So now what's going to happen, I'm going to take a look up at the other end of the running board. Now what's going to happen, she got it an inch away up there too, just like that. So now what's going to happen, she's going to grab the air. She's going to have an air hose. And she's going to cool it off the same time that she does it. Hanging up, baby. Hanging up. Then she's going to grab an air hose and cool it off at the same time. So I want to get back here a little bit. Jolene doing the deal. That's a badass leather coat you get on, baby. Where's a badass leather coat you got on, isn't you? All right, so this is what she's going to do now. She's going to go in between one of those ones, or one inch things. She's going to run four, four quarters, I guess, and they're all half laying on each other. Two. Three. There's four. Now, now she's going to be John, like John Wayne and put the air on it. And she's going to leave it there until it's cool. 
And what that does, when you put the heat on it, it sends, it sends the molecules and the metal crazy. When you put the cool air on it, it brings them all back. You know, if you know what I'm trying to say. Um, so when she's putting the heat on it, it's driving them crazy and they're going everywhere. When, when she puts the cool air on it, they're all coming back. I'm going to take a walk up close and show you. Now generally we would put the heat up on the quarter panel because when the heat goes on the top, now, if you look at that, she barely, barely lifted the primer on that one. You know what I mean? You barely lifted the primer, so that's how hot that's getting. Now, you barely lift the primer on that. So as we continue on, it's just another four every six inches. And, and that's how all cars are welded here at Hills Auto Co. That's four. One more. Just because, just because she's pretty. Now you can see how the paint flew off that one. Now that was fine. And see what happened? Man, I'll tell you. We, like we always, I always said, do one, two, three, four and put the air on it. But there was a spot there that she did not like. She wanted to put a little meat on it. And I don't blame her. I would have done the exact same thing. Now, when we put the air on that, the air should be on top of the weld. Because the heat goes up, eh? As you put that four on there. See how you're putting the air on there? Put the air up where the, where the primer's gone. Where the primer's at. Well, that's where you want to put it, where the primer's gone. Heat's going up, right? We don't want to warp the quarter panel. So that's the deal. I mean, I guess that was... Now, I like the way she's welding that because she's putting a lot of meat on that. So I can grind that off. Good. Put the meat on so I can grind that off. One, two, three, four. And you're laying them over top of each other there. And then when she fills that in, I'll grind that off and that'll be beautiful. It, you know, to me, I think it is beautiful. As we come to the front, she's going to do the exact same thing on the front. Hood's all welded so I can throw, start throwing mud on that. Or grind that piece off and throw the mud on the center of that now. And that's basically how we do it. I guess the main thing is to have it in place. Be comfortable, have your welder set at the right temperature, and uh, stitch it up like your grandmother would, one stitch at a time. Everybody loves Grammy. All right, I'm going to piece out this thing. Jolene's doing an awesome job, and uh, she's going to continue on until that's welded. And that will not take her very long, as you see the way she's going at it. It will not take her very long. And that'll be ground, and then she'll be saying, hey, do you want to grind that off so I can go on the... No, I can actually, I'll send her to the other side. That's what I'll do. But that'll have to be ground off and uh, made look ready for body fill. Or heavy strength fiberglass and fill. So that's what she's doing today. And like I said, I'm going to the front fender of the Bugatti and uh, mudding that out. Alrighty, what do you want to be, the elephant or the, or the monkey? <laughs> doesn't matter which one you wear, because that's who you wear. How's that?